All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol SNDL, Sundial Growers Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel, Invest for Tomorrow, to all the subscribers. Welcome back. And as we jump into this chart, I just want to quickly announce to every single investor to stay tuned till the end of this video because I have a new ticker symbol you won't want to miss. And you definitely want to add it to your watch list. So stay tuned till the end. It's in the EV sector and it has a niche within the ev sector that they have a large market share in and they have a big opportunity and potential moving forward so stay tuned we're going to look at its chart an article and some more information on the potential of that ticker symbol moving forward so sndl broke through a dollar and it's sitting nicely above it right now very interesting stuff for those of you that have been long and true bulls being patient going through the ups and downs and all the volatility. Congratulations to you guys. And I hope that you guys are doing really well in your portfolios. I look forward to seeing how much more bullish you guys feel about this and where do you see this going? The fact that it's sitting above a dollar now for about two days is a pretty good sign, right? Previously, it was slightly getting closer to it. And within the last trading day leading into today, it's pretty interesting and if it can hold up for one more day two days into this week and create some consolidation up here it could be an even greater sign as this started to move its way up closer to it right it touched the one dollar range and then it tried bringing itself back up towards it and it finally broke through it and the highs here that need to really be broken through is 136 but right now we're going to look at the highest point reached today the lowest point and then we're going to see some important points moving forward. So let's go ahead and look at our new resistance and support. And if support gets broken through, I would use this midway point here between the 50 day moving average and the support level, which is literally one dollar, right? Point zero 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 six, right to the thousands place. But I would definitely use that point to see how the stock's reacting and how quickly is it moving to newer lows. Now, the 50 day moving average is right here at 92.11 to be exact, but I'd round it down to 92 cents. As long as we're above it, we're in bullish territory. The moment we're below it, we're in bearish territory. Now, our support level here is 106. If that gets broken through, pay very close attention to how the stock's reacting. We're currently at 117. And if it breaks through 106, how is it reacting between 106 and $1? And then you could see from $1 to the 50 day moving average. And remember, the $1 is completely optional, but I like to dissect the chart as much as possible to see how it's doing within those levels. And especially when a stock is pulling down within bullish territory, it can be a little misleading thinking, oh, we're still in bullish territory. We got a long way to go till the 50 day moving average. And all of a sudden we didn't watch it carefully within these levels. And it got closer to the 50 day moving average within just hours. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. $1 is optional. But it helps you dissect between 106 and the broad stretch of all the way down here at 92 cents to have a midway point to see who is pulling further down or further up away from those points of reference. But the first support level is 106 and you want to see what's going on between 106 and the 50 day moving average. And again, one dollar is optional to dissect the chart as much as possible. Now, the highest point reached in the day is up here at 132. And that needs to be broken through by the bulls. This is large momentum here that has been created. And 132 definitely needs to be broken through by the bulls to reach newer highs, new resistance levels, and continue this momentum pulling further away from the 50 day moving average in the upward direction. So 132 definitely needs to be turned into a support so that the bulls can continue to work their way up, reach newer highs, and new resistance levels. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. I look forward to seeing your guys' comments and thoughts on this one moving forward. Will it hold up above a dollar? Do you guys think it's going to get back close to it? Can it stay above the 50 day moving average and stay in bullish territory? I look forward to seeing all of your guys' investor sentiment from your perspective and how far up do you see this one going. As always, 
Don't forget to stay tuned till the end because I have a ticker symbol you guys won't want to miss and you definitely want to add it to your watch list. So for everyone that has stayed to this point, the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys is definitely one you want to do more research on and you want to watch carefully. Now it's in the EV sector and it focuses on a specific niche and I've been watching it for a few days and an article came out on Friday that gave me even more of a confirmation why this one's going to have potential in the long term. I'm not too quite sure how we need to uh, play it out in the short term because it is kind of hyperinflated in a little bit and it was going downwards and it just bounced back up and I definitely want to recommend to every single investor, watch it carefully. So the ticker symbol is ACTC, Arclight Clean Transition Corp. So here we are with how it reacted when the merger was announced. It went from $12 all the way up to $31. It started to pull back. And this pullback was looking healthy. Now it bounced right back up. And this could be the overall market reaction. Because the whole market had a slight jump. And it jumped $4. Almost $3 and some change. $4 from the lows here. So right now it's sitting at $26.29. And I definitely recommend watching it if it breaks through $20.50. And also $20.15. Right? $22.15. Excuse me. Those are the two points of support levels to watch carefully moving forward. And we want to see if this continues to pull downwards after this slight jump or does it consolidate up here and is it creating the anticipation leading towards the merger now after the merger is something to watch as well i've seen a lot of these mergers happen so far and they actually start to have pullbacks as well afterwards but in the long term this is definitely a stock to keep in mind and watch carefully because they have a large market share who ACTC is going to merge with. Let's see this article here. So this is the article that came out on Friday. Yesterday I was going to do videos and I actually was going to do videos on Friday. I've had a few hiccups and I apologize for that to every single viewer and investor, but I'm glad that I'm still able to proceed with this information and it's still one to definitely watch and keep in mind. So when I saw this article from investors place, the heading was why investors should pass on Arclight for now. The key words here to me that stand out is should pass for now. And that's fine. You want to add it to your watch list though. And you want to keep an eye on it and see how it's reacting because this sector has potential. And this is who they're merging with. Proterra. Arclight has agreed to merge with Proterra. Well, now that they have agreed to do that, who you should do more research on is Proterra. Now, from what I've seen, they've been around for over 10 years and they have a large market share in the niche that they do. And what do they do? They are an electric bus maker. Now, if you guys have seen Arrival and how things are happening in Europe, I could see Proterra being the one in the US market. That's the one in Europe market, Arrival. I could see Proterra being the one in the US market. I'm not sure if Arrival will arrive into the US market. For as long as it doesn't, Proterra has an upward you know hand on this one so over the long term it basically says proterra should do very well that's a good sign now it talks about you know the pandemic and so forth why it's not recommend to buy actc anytime soon now arclight has agreed to merge with proterra so when they say this anytime soon but they say over the long term it should do very well and then i see should pass for now it makes sense that this is the time to watch it. You really want to keep it on your radar and see how it moves. And now we have time to do due diligence as investors and in research to know more about Proterra. So if anybody knows more than me or anything else or wants to share any articles or even this article, if you find it, you can post a link down below in the comments so that other investors are aware. But I would definitely start with this one because just the beginning kind of throws you, you know, the good and the bad. And then as you continue to read, it talks about the good and the bad and all of a sudden the good outweighs the bad because it tells you all the great things of Proterra and who they are and how they're working and what they plan on doing moving forward. Now, why do I see potential in this stock moving forward? And I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell, or hold any position in it, but I am here to enlighten you guys on adding this to your radar and keeping a close eye on it. Well, right now we are in the pre-merger you know, hype and stuff. And after the merger, things might cool down again. And we need to see how far down it cools down. And also what's the anticipation leading into the merger. 
Now, why is this a great one? Well, the fact is that electric bus makers have a lot of potential just based off of the school system. Think about that nationwide. And then public transportation system. Think about that nationwide. There's enough to go around there for them to go ahead and make these buses and receive a lot of purchases and orders over time. So I look forward to how things continue to move. And especially with legislation being passed and going greener and EV becoming more of a norm rather than a luxury or taboo. It's going to change everything about the whole sector and the fact that this focuses on a niche within the EV sector which is electric bus makers and this is one of them and they have a large market share in that niche I could see a lot of potential for this one so definitely want to add to your watch list ACTC it's going to merge with Proterra thank you guys so much for watching and as always let's make some money